Today we have no jokes for you. I know you miss them already, but stay cool. This time we will discuss typical teens' problems and how to solve them. The first and the most important disclaimer. Take a closer look at the way you teach. And consider this checklist of psychological safety on your lessons. Don't raise your voice or shout during the lessons. Avoid unbalanced criticism. When saying what's wrong, give ways to improve the situation and say what's good. Any unpleasant things should be said individually. Any pleasant things should be said in front of the whole classroom. Same rules apply to the teacher and to the students. This is the necessary minimum to avoid any psychological harm to your sensitive teenage students. Now let's move on to the essence of our topic. You know, I gotta tell you something. You're special. No, I'm not joking. You're really special. You are the English teacher. Okay. If we talk about schools, you are the one who knows about the students' lives the most. The whole idea of teaching English is initially communicating in it. So, believe it or not, you know pretty much about students' personalities. And what's more, you have the power to help teens in trouble. So, here come the problems teens problems. First of all, make your classroom a safe space for everyone. Place where you treat teenagers like adults, respect them and listen to them. Moreover, no bullying or psychological abuse is allowed in the classroom. Teens are welcome to express their ideas freely without being groundlessly criticized. Then, any writing task can be a wonderful tool to detect some kind of psychological problems. Give teens essay topics that are interesting for them, the ones that raise important issues. Loneliness is a new normality. It is easier to make friends than to keep them. Bullying is the choice of the weak. And many others. Once you notice some warning signs, feel free to gently discuss this issue with a student in person. Be sincerely concerned because teens feel the slightest hint of fake. Can I trust you? In case you have a feeling that something is going wrong with your student, contact the parents, class teacher or school counselor. But don't do it behind your student's back. In a trustful manner, express your disturbance with a problem and ask for permission to give advice or to help in any other way. What to look at? What are the typical teenage problems these days? While checking writings, look very carefully for the signs of home violence, abuse, depression, or any suicidal thoughts. In case you hesitate, feel free to discuss the essays with the school psychologist. Anonymously, of course. Actually, there is another thing that served me well a few times. Psychological tests. This will kill two birds with one stone. First, you edutain your students in a fascinating manner that Teens generally cannot resist. Their personalities are rapidly changing. So they reflect a lot and try to understand more about themselves. Second, you learn more about them and may notice the early signs of some psychological issues. You can start with the Holmes and Ray stress scale. It's rather simple, but it gives you opportunity to catch up with some vocabulary and to get the general idea of the well-being of your classroom. 16 personalities survey is another lovely way to find out more about your students and maybe even about yourself. Beck's depression scale is another very important tool worth a separate lesson devoted to mental health. Make sure results are anonymous but welcome anyone willing to discuss them. You can find all the links to the tests and files in the description of the video. You're rather lucky if you work individually and can freely talk with your students. Of course, considering he or she is not obsessed with the state exam, you can use the same tools, but the private talk is priceless. The last but definitely not the least tip is to be sincere. One of the major issues teens face is misunderstanding. They truly believe that no one in the whole world experiences the same as they do. At least I did so. So when I teach, I almost never hide my minor problems. I'm just a human and I feel free to discuss some, maybe even important decisions with my students. I trust them and as a result they trust me. So we have no secrets from each other. But it is extremely important to walk the line. You can be a body teacher or a pal tutor. However, 
Don't lose touch with your status of the teacher. Remember about your major task. Hope you and your teens are safe and sound, filled with happiness and free of any anxiety. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos and join our great team. Good luck and have fun!